Cycle City, which is all about bikes. It's a seek and find book. So um, on each page, you're asked to find different cyclists in a world of bikes. Um, I also wrote The Hike, which I'll be reading today. And my newest book I just illustrated, and Joan Hollab wrote this book. Um, you might know her from the book Little Red Riding. It's a book about a pencil that is like a little red riding hood. But this is a very silly book and it's fun. It's all about signs that jump off of their signposts and go on an adventure. Um, so in the book The Hike, there are four main characters. There are three kids and their dog. And one of them, named Elle, this one, she teaches everyone how to make leaf baskets out of thimbleberry leaves. And so I thought today I would show you how to make a leaf basket. I don't have a thimbleberry leaf, but I do have a Japanese aralia leaf, which is my neighbor's. Look how big and beautiful this leaf is. I love it. Um, so a leaf basket is a very, very simple kind of fun thing to make. And all you need is a big leaf with lots of points to it. I'd say at least five would be good. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I might be able to use. Um, so basically, here's how you do it. You take the stem and you poke it into the opposite leaf tip, like the middle leaf. And then tip by tip, you keep doing the same with each leaf tip. Just poke it right through until you have made a little container. And sometimes the leaves rip and that's okay. You can always just get another leaf. I think this one will do best just leaving those ones open. And you can see a sweet little basket that you can make and you can even put things in it like I have some shells that I can stick in there, or you could put flowers in there, or maybe even a snack, whatever you feel like putting in there. So that is a leaf basket. And without further ado, I'm going to read you the hike. The hike actually starts on the end papers. These are called end papers, the parts that are like glued down to the hard cover on one side. And in the end papers, you can see all the different things that the characters took on their hike. They took maps, backpacks, sweatshirts for the top, binoculars. So if you look at the end papers, you can go through the book and find all the different things that they packed on their hike. And this book was dedicated to my son, Finn, and his cousins, Morgan and Bryn, who helped to inspire a lot of this book, and to young hikers everywhere just like you. Um, I also did special thanks to my friend, Jenny Tilson, who is a biologist who helped read this book, and to Scott Clues, who wrote a really cool book that is called Pacific Northwest Medicinal Plants. And in this book, he has really cool pictures of different types of plants. And I love using this book to uh, identify plants that I see when I'm hiking. And it also has uh, lots of other tips on how to use plants. Okay. So this is the title page of the hike. And on the title page, you can see a sketchbook here. And it says, do not forget, Ren, a flag, a pencil for me, a pencil for Elle. Also, Ren, this sketchbook, don't forget that. Elle needs to remember her book of poems. Hattie needs to remember her feathers uh, and a hanky to put the feathers in. And we can see this sketchbook inside on the first spread. 
This is Ren's sketchbook and it is right in her room in her house. So this is what's called a cross section of their house. I'm gonna tip this down so you can see a little better. So you can see inside of the house, that's what a cross section is. And up here is Elle and she says, yoo-hoo, almost ready? Just one more cut. Hattie says, just a few more feathers. She's putting them in her hanky down here. Um, and for anyone who's a fan of poetry, up here, Elle is a poet and she has a little tiny poster of Mary Oliver. This is actually put in this book the year that Mary Oliver passed away. So it ended up being kind of an, a cool homage to Mary Oliver. We are going on a hike. And you can see down here, Ren, L, Hattie, and Bean. And in the hike, there's all kinds of plants and animals that are identified. Like right here, there's a mountain chickadee. Do you see the chipmunk and the red fox? And there's a stellar jay feather and a lupine and a snowberry, a bumblebee and some mullein. It's our favorite thing to do. There's a deer fern and some tiny barred owlets. They're baby owls. And you can see a stellar jay saying, shook, 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 shook. Do you ever hear birds when you're hiking in the forest? You do? Yes. Hattie says, hey, wait for me. There's a wild columbine and burdock. Oh, and down here is a chipmunk nest. And if you look carefully on each spread, there will be the chipmunk. There will be one chipmunk that follows them on their hike. In the beginning, we run like maniacs. Arf! until a ripe patch of thimbleberry slows us down. If you live in the Pacific Northwest right now, the thimbleberries are starting to ripen. They're like, kind of look like a raspberry, but they're softer. You'd never see them in the store. They're, they're way too soft. They would just fall apart and they're delicious. This is a Douglas fir bough. Oh, did everyone find the chipmunk? Elle teaches us how to make leaf baskets. Hey, we just made a leaf basket. And here's all the instructions that I just gave you for making a leaf basket. And they say, like this, Elle? Yep. Where is the chipmunk here? Can you find it? Yep, it's right there. Tap, 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 tap. Here's a pileated woodpecker. We may have eaten too many berries. Is that possible? Arf, I thought we were saving some for later. Hattie's the only one who still has berries in her leaf basket. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Boo! Eck! Heidi, how'd you get up there so fast? Let's see, can we find a porcupine and the chipmunk? Here's the porcupine climbing a cedar tree. But where's the chipmunk? Oh, there it is. We get lost. Hmm, which way is north? Here's a stand of cedar trees. 
pretty sure we were not supposed to cross a river yet. And look, everyone has a different map here. The state forest map, a trail map that looks like it's upside down, and a topographic map. Where's the chipmunk? Did you find it? There it is. Did we go left after the berry patch? Right, I think. Ren, what's another word for blue? Azure, cerulean, cobalt. And then we get another look into Ren's sketchbook here. Here she is drawing. She's above Hattie, so she's drawing her head. A bird's eye view of Hattie. Hattie always finds the roots, and you can see Hattie's compass right here. And if you look closely, you might see the chipmunk munching away at their snacks. Right here. We're halfway there. I think Hattie may have scared the chipmunk because here, look, it went all the way up here. In no time, we get back on track. Who made these? Anybody know who made those? You can type it into the comments if you, if you know the answer. Let's see. Oh, a deer walks past, bean sneezes. Uh, chew. Who made those tracks? I think it was a deer. The deer vanishes so quick, we wonder if it was ever really there. A light rain comes and goes. The birds are happy. We listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for, right, Hattie? And Hattie says, yep. And here again, we see Wren's sketchbook. And this time she's drawing birds we saw at Whitefish River. She saw an Anna's hummingbird. And this is a little seek and find. So see if you can find Anna's hummingbird, something that looks like this. Do you see it? right over here and then there's a mountain chickadee this one's actually flying can you see the mountain chickadee flying up here and then there's a mountain bluebird can you find a bluebird it looks like it's going into its nest in a tree do you see it right here Hattie gets tired. Elle offers to carry her. We can't hear you. I said 30 minutes to the top. Look, there's a banana slug watching them as they go by. And this is called a plunge waterfall. It's not touching the rock behind it. It's just going straight into the water. Soon, Elle is tired too. What is happening here? Giddy up. I can't do this much longer. Look, Bean's chasing our friend over here. Red's over, everyone. Brr, it's getting chilly. And it looks like they're going on the summit loop, not the perimeter, which goes all the way around. They're going up to the top up here. At the top, Wren takes out her flag. 
Elle reads her poem and Hattie releases feathers into the wind. Whoosh. Where's the chipmunk this time? Do you see it? It's hiding. Right there in the backpack. We did it. And you can see in the sky that it's starting to get darker out and they're going to need to get back home soon. And it looks like they make it just when it gets dark. Here's our friend over here hiding behind a tree. And they're looking up at the stars and all the constellations up there. And um, let's see, there's a few. The Pleiades is here, Perseus, Taurus, Pegasus. So that was the end of the hike, but there's also more of Ren's drawings and notes in her sketchbook here. And she writes some of the things I saw today. Um, this one, I really like this one because sometimes in the fall, I, I hear barred owls in my backyard. They fly through and land on my neighbor's tree. And this one says, barred owlets. Hattie says, barred owls sound like, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? And the owlets, the kids, they say, psst, why does she keep asking? No one ever cooks for us. Do you think an owl mom would actually cook for their kid? Probably not. They're just giving them little uh, creatures to eat like mice. Um, dead, th this one says dead trees, life support. And here's a nurse log. This is the nurse log. It's a horizontal tree that baby trees can live on and other things can live inside of it and it supports life in the forest. And the little trees say, thanks for the food nurse and thanks for the shade. Just doing my job kiddos. Thanks for the water too. You might've seen this kind of tree if you're ever on a hike. I see snags a lot. This is a vertical dead tree that's often missing its top. And here's a woodpecker here saying, ooh, juicy, tap, 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 tap. You love me a good carpenter ant. Has anyone here ever heard, ever heard a woodpecker in their neighborhood? No. <laughs> you have here? Okay. <laughs> um, let's see, and... What else do we have here? Oh, Invasive Plant Awards. These are both around my neighborhood a lot, and sometimes I see them on hikes, especially in Portland. English Ivy, and the English Ivy, I turned it into a character, and they say, life goals, take over the world, ha 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 ha. They get an Invasive Plant Award because they can smother and kill plants and trees, and the English ivy isn't from here, and so it doesn't do well with the, the trees and other plants around. It just takes over, as does Herb Robert, otherwise known as Stinky Bob. It says, please, call me Stinky Bob. Thank Stinky you, Bob. Cake. Stinky Bob. It smells a little like peanut butter. And let's see. Oh. Here's one more. This one I see on hikes a lot around here. It's called vanilla leaf. And you can actually dry it and make a, a vanilla flavored tea with it. And redwood sorrel, it has these heart shaped leaves. There's also just a regular wood sorrel that's small, but the redwood sorrel is quite large and you can eat it and it tastes lemony and tart. That's very fun to try. Hey. 
I think once I ate that. You did? I think so. Did you like it? Yes. Did it taste kind of like a lemon? Yes. Yeah, that sounds fun. There's a couple plants that taste lemony, but those little heart-shaped ones are fun because they're easy to identify. Um, this one is a taproot. Has anyone eaten a carrot before? If, if you have, then you've had a taproot. It's a large main root and that little roots can kind of branch off of. And that is the height. Oh, there's one cool thing about this book and that is that you can take the jacket cover off and it turns into Wren's sketchbook. Sketchbook property of Wren. And here's some drawings that she made on the outside. You ready to be done here? And on the back, there's like a lupine leaf and a Douglas fir tree and a damselfly and a squash flower. Um, so that is the hike. And I thought before I take off today that I would do a little bit of drawing with you guys. Does that sound fun? Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm an illustrator and so I draw every day. And I thought we'd do like a little combination. You know how I wrote this book called Runaway Signs? Um, this was kind of like the perfect book for me to illustrate because I love drawing characters that are just running around. It's really fun to do. So I thought I could um, draw for you just like some nature characters that run around. Um, and let's see, the first one I'll do is a leaf. I like finding everyday objects and just turning them into characters. It's really fun. Like you can go on a hike and find something that you might want to draw and just turn it into a character. Or you could even like look around your house and wonder what would be a fun character to draw. And like you could do like a stapler or a pair of scissors or a refrigerator, but <laughs> Today I'll do just a few different characters from nature. Can anyone guess what this one's going to be? A fruit. Um, not a fruit, but good guess. This is like a little hat, kind of. Acorn. You got it, good job. And um, let's see, and then maybe you could even do like a little sun as a character. They're always kind of cute to do. Um, and oh, okay, I have another idea. I'll have you guys guess. That's kind of a fancy sun. Um, okay. Flower. Flower. Ooh, good guess. I'll do that one next. Hat. Hat. It also looks like a hat, but it 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 is not a hat. It's something from nature. Huh? A jellyfish. A jellyfish. It does look like a mushroom. mushroom. It's a mushroom. mushroom. Good job. Yeah. May, it might need some like oh, more yeah. on it, kind of. Maybe this is um, mushroom. An Amanita muscaria, which is those red mushrooms with the white dots on them. It's mm. not okay to eat. No, it, that one is a no no for eating. You're right. No, no eat. No, no, eat. okay, how about, oh, okay, I have another one. You can guess what this one is. Flower, flower. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a flower next. Never mind, I'll do, I'm going to start over. Okay, flower, flower character. Flower power. Power? <laughs> what? 
Powder, powder. Flower. Hmm, let's see what flower. What flower? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Vanilla? <laughs> what is it? Now this one is a flower. I was drawing that one by request. This one's going to be kind of cool because what do, what do flower legs look like anyway? I don't know. I feel like leaves on the, just the leaves. Yeah, it's kind of like leaf legs. Yeah, leaf legs. <laughs> and then maybe some leaf arms too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they do have these. <laughs> that one's kind of silly. Uh, oh, and then I've got another idea here. This one is... No. Feather. Feather. It's a feather. You got it. Good work. Who said feather? Raise your hand. Was it Graham? No, I didn't do it. Okay. I didn't know who, what it was. Okay, here's a feather. Any last requests? Should I do what? Do you guys want to offer one and I'll draw it? Yes. I want a heart. A heart? Okay, sure. Heart character. <laughs> I want a rainbow. Let me see. I can't see. I want a rainbow. Oh, rainbow. I like I love doing rainbow characters. Me too. I think it's Joey. Oh, that's a sweet little heart. Should I have arms or do you like it like that? Arms. Arms, okay. I don't want arms. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do rainbow and then maybe one more after that if somebody has another one. Okay. Oh. I like making rainbows so that they look kind of like um like a a pet or something like it has four legs. No flower. Oh yeah, right. And what else is there? Make our head. Yeah, a rainbow. Yeah. It would need a lot of colors in it to really look like a rainbow, I think, right? Yes. There's a running rainbow character. <laughs> Do we have any other requests? I'll take one more if you want one. Okay. Um, how about Anybody have, anybody, has anyone been on a hike recently or on a walk around your neighborhood and saw something in nature that you thought was cool that you would like to share before we go? I'll tell you what I saw. I was just looking, I'm on the second floor in my house and I was looking outside and I actually saw an Anna's hummingbird today, which is that hummingbird that's in the hike. I see them a lot where I live. Did anyone else see something recently outside, like a bird or a mushroom or something like that? Oh, I see an acorn and a mushroom from Olivia. That's great. <laughs> uh, a mint plant. A mint, did you eat it? No, no, actually it's in our front yard that one of our friends nearby our house gave us. Oh, wow, that's so fun. Um, my son likes to put mint into our salads. We have a raspberry plant and a mint plant that tastes good in salads. I have a lot. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Well, I think we might be wrapping up over here. How does that sound to you, Jennifer? Any other things you want to do? And 
Oh, I think you're still muted. Jennifer, yeah. Let's see. Should we give Allison a big round of applause? Should we say yay? Thank you for coming today, Allison, and for sharing your book and your craft activities and your art. It was wonderful. My pleasure. Thanks yay. so much for joining. Oh, it looks like Lila might have a question. Do you? Lila, do you have a question? Yes, but one time we we read to hiking, but we didn't saw banana slug. You didn't but, see one? Yes, but we are finding the banana slug, but we can't find it. Oh, yeah. well, maybe next time. Yeah, maybe and sometimes time. they're not yellow. Sometimes they're kind of brown. Um. So just to let you guys know, if you want to see Allison's book, we're going to have it up on a story walk in front of Burlingame City Hall for the month of July. Um, and tonight we start our family fun nights at the Burlingame Library. So check our website. We're going to have some fun activities. I think tonight might be a magic show. Um, so ask your parents to look at our website for the details. So thank you everyone for coming today. We'll see you soon, okay? Thanks so thank much, you, Allison. Thank you. thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Mama Jack, me.